If you don't know who the mainstream media is by now, let me remind you. The mainstream media's job is propaganda. Make no mistakes. These type of wars, these type of news articles are all to push you into a mindset of fear. Keep you under the thumb of your government. And it's interesting because similar to how it is here in the United States with left and right politics, everyone wants to be on a side of somebody who they think is going to be the victor. This is happening right now. This is on TikTok. This is what they don't want you to see. They don't want you to see Palestinians. We are living in a time of uncertainty. We are living in a time where people don't trust their government and the people in power. What has war always been about? It's always been about money, power, religion. That's it. Money, power, religion. Power can be anything from owning people to owning land to a strong takeover of land. It's always been the same since the dawn of man. If you do a quick Google of Palestine, you will get a far different narrative told by the mainstream media and all of the people in media regarding this war. If you Google Israel, you will get a whole different approach, sorrow and pity and making you feel like you need to support them, making you have sympathy towards Israel. How many people they've kidnapped, look at how many people have died. What are we going to do? My plea and argument will always be to defend the people that are innocent in all of this. There are people on both sides of the aisles here in America that are caught in the crossfire of stupidity, of people running the show that have no clue what the everyday Americans go through. I will always err on the side of humanity. People matter more than these people that are in power. All of the people that are in power are controlling you. They're telling you the wars they want you to fight in. And what's so ironic is I find that the people that enlist in the military here in the United States are the exact people that the Democrats and the people that are far left hate and despise. They're the deplorables that Hillary Clinton said. They're the people from poor families that can't afford an Ivy League education. It's not the daughters and sons of the rich millionaires and billionaires that are fighting in war. And even thousandaires, you know, people with six-figure income. They're not having to force their kids to go enlist in the military. Who's doing that are people who can't afford it. That's why they love this whole surge of people coming across our border because those will be your next military people, those will be your next firefighters, police officers, people doing public service jobs. It's not the rich elite people. Those people are trying to get power, money, and control. And they're trying to teach their kids to do that. The Middle East has always been at war, and that's something I wanted to point out in this video. This is not something new. There's always been conflict in Israel. Israel has been involved in several wars and conflicts since its establishment, since 1948. Many of the major wars included the Arab-Israeli War in 1948, the Suez Crisis in 56, the Six-Day War in 67, in 1973, they saw the Yom, Yom Kippur War, also known as the October War. In 1982, they had the Lebanon War. In 2008 to 2009, they had the Gaza War. In 2012, they had the Operation Pillar of Defense. And 2014, Gaza War. There have been many other smaller conflicts and operations throughout this region. And who I feel most sorry for are the innocents. The people on both sides that have children that are caught up in this. Could you imagine the emotional and traumatic turmoil these children face in the future? Continue to perpetuate war in this land and in this region because of people like Benjamin Netanyahu and people who are in control at the very top. I think people need to go back and read some books and find out that we're not in control of anything. We are being controlled. We are but pawns in their big games. This war, is only one of many and many more to come. In fact, we will be seeing many more conflicts and wars, actual war, and possibly World War III within the next five years. They want to usher in a new world order. And the only way this can come about is by creating conflict. As Christians, as tensions over Jewish and Muslim holy sites have erupted into violence in recent weeks between Israelis and Palestinians, Christians here in Israel say they're under attack too. Here's the biggest thing that stood out to me about this. I watched a video of a young lady on TikTok. I believe the video is on Rumble, but she was on TikTok as well. And she was Israeli. 
and she said she worked in the Israeli Defense Force. And at no point can anyone come near the Israel border at all without being spotted. So how this uh, siege happened is laughable to say the least. And I say laughable because we know better. Many of us know better. Christians in Jerusalem's old city say they are often harassed, spit on, and even physically attacked by religious Jewish youth. But yet some of you still choose to listen to mainstream news. And when I say mainstream news, I'm not talking CNN, NBC, M MSNBC, CBS, ABC. I'm talking news articles as well talking about articles that you see on the web coming from Reuters or NPR or um, The Guardian or any of them, even AP. All of these people have been infiltrated and bought out. Ironically, the Rothschilds own Israel. So you don't think they have something to gain from this war? American people are tired of war. We're tired of fighting other people's battles. Why we're even involved is mind-boggling to me all right it's kind of a mind your business kind of thing why are we always in everybody else's business why can't we let these people battle their own battles the american people if our tax dollars aren't enough they're already trying to bank on us supporting war in israel support israel israel needs help terrorists are killing children and the elderly tell congress to pass legislation standing with israel i mean this is just insanity. We have no business being involved in this. this. Wake up, Americans. Quit siding with these people just because you've been told by your media you need to side with them. Ask questions. Reach out to people from other sides of the aisle. Talk to people from other demographics. Quit relying on your mainstream media narrative. You know why they're afraid of TikTok? because TikTok is a place where you can actually talk to people from other cultures and backgrounds and walks of life. I saw a live this morning with several people, some people that were Muslim and some people that were Israeli, having an actual conversation, talking about their sentiments and feelings about this war in a respectable manner, I might add, which was kind of interesting to me, noting that there was a military um, veteran on that live and noting that they were having a civil discourse on why they feel this is all propped up false flags and propaganda meant to incite fear, to put us into another war because they've grown bored of Ukraine. And in my opinion, it's all to usher in a new one world global government. That's all this is. Read enough and you've taken part in researching things that are not known, you will know that there is a global elite power class that, sh that really controls everything. You want to call them the New World Order, Illuminati, the Knights Templar, the, you know, whatever you want to call them. It doesn't matter. 